Hi, I'm Hanbit, and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi, everybody, it's Hanbit here. 안녕하세요, 조한빛입니다. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the chocolate ganache tart. Hope you've watched my previous upload on the baked chocolate tart. The chocolate tart I'm showing you today is slightly different. It's a chocolate ganache tart. The main difference between the two is the texture. The big chocolate tart I showed you before has a very silky and a smooth interior. Whereas the chocolate ganache tart I'm showing you today has a fudgy texture and is definitely sweeter because ganache is inherently sweet. I love both chocolate tarts, so I hope you try both of them. Oh yes, I'm going to make my chocolate ganache tart today in small tart shells, what we call tartlets. But of course, you can make it in full-size tarts, just like I did with my baked chocolate tart. First of all, I'll walk you through the structure of the chocolate ganache tart. First, you need to make the chocolate tart shell. Inside that, you'll lay out the bottom with Christian, which is the crispy crunch layer. Then, you'll fill the tart up with the chocolate ganache. Finally, you'll fill it up to the brim with chocolate glaze. Right, so the ingredients. We have room temperature butter, cocoa powder, almond powder, powdered sugar, cornstarch, eggs, and cake flour. Just remember that all the ingredients need to be at room temperature. First, I'm going to gently beat the butter. And now I'm going to sift in all the dry ingredients apart from the cake flour. Powdered sugar, cornstarch, almond powder, and cocoa powder. And now I'm going to add the eggs in three to four steps. And finally, I'm going to sift in the flour. Now we're going to make the Christian, and when we say Christian, it means crisp in French. So it's basically the crunchy, the crispy layer inside the tart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it out and spread it out at the bottom of the tart. And the crispiness, the crunchiness is what's going to make this tart interesting and not monotonous. The steps are extremely simple. We basically have four ingredients. We have hazelnut pralin milk chocolate and dark chocolate they're covered chocolates and i've used both milk and dark so that's why i've counted them as two ingredients and finally the foitin and when i say foitin it's kind of the you can see that it's very very crisp and it's basically like very crisp and thin cornflakes so if you can't get hold of foitin then you can use cornflakes although they won't be as crisp but it's a good substitute the crystal layer we're making today would have a note of hazelnut because i'll be using my homemade hazelnut pralin inside please check my video on how to make hazelnut pralin if you wonder how you make it have you clicked like and subscribe now that my chocolate has melted i just have to mix everything together and that's it super easy hazelnut pralin 
milk chocolate and dark chocolate and finally the foyton don't crush everything because then you'll lose the crunchiness and the crispiness perfect i'm now going to lay them out and spread it at the bottom of my tarts Just gently press it down and form a layer because if you press it down too hard, you're going to crush the foyton. Now that I'm done with the crusting layer, I'm going to work on the ganache. If you want to find more about ganache and how to make a perfect ganache, take a look at the video that I've uploaded before. And when we say ganache, what is it? It's basically heavy cream and chocolate mixed well together. Well here I have heavy cream, which I'm going to heat up to about 50 degrees Celsius. And I have chocolate. I've got dark chocolate and milk chocolate. They're both covered with chocolate. I'm going to melt them to around 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to mix them well. And then add the butter, which will give a better mouthfeel. I'm going to melt the chocolate. My melted chocolate is ready and my heavy cream is around 50 degrees Celsius. I'm going to add the heavy cream in and I'm going to mix it using a hand blender. Heavy cream goes in. If you don't have one of these hand blenders, then you'll have to use a spatula. But if you can, it's worth just getting one. It's so handy. What you need to remember when mixing the melted chocolate and the heavy cream when making the ganache is that you don't want to incorporate air into it. So just be careful. Now I'm going to add in my room temperature butter. Just watch how I'm not filling up to the brim but leaving a few millimeters because I'm going to add the chocolate glaze on top. Now that I've poured the ganache, I'm going to put my tarts in the fridge and let it set for at least two to three hours. Right, chocolate glaze. This is the final step. To be really honest, your chocolate tart will taste absolutely amazing and fantastic without the chocolate glaze. But if you have the chocolate glaze on top, it will make it look so much better and it'll look really pretty. So you make the choice, but I mean, it's an option that's nice to have. We have six ingredients here. Water, corn syrup, sugar, condensed milk, dark covered chocolate, and gelatin. I'll start by blooming the gelatin in ice cold water. In goes the water, sugar, and corn syrup. I'm going to bring the temperature up to around 103 degrees Celsius and then add the rest. Right, so it's around 103. I'm going to add in the rest. I've turned the heat off. Condensed milk. I'm going to add the gelatin. So squeeze the water out of the gelatin and put it in. I'm going to transfer this to a beaker. I'm going to add the chocolate. I'm just going to melt the chocolate and then I'm going to blend it using a hand blender. Just make sure you don't incorporate too much air into it because if you think about it, you don't want air bubbles on the surface of your glaze. It just, it just doesn't look nice and it defeats the purpose of the glaze because it's meant to look smooth. I'm going to cool it down in the fridge and use it the day after. So here's the chocolate glaze that I've left overnight. It's solidified because there's gelatin in it. So I'm just going to heat it up in the microwave and then use it. Right now, the chocolate glaze. So my tart is practically all done and you can decorate it whichever way you wish and I'll show you a couple of designs. This is gold dusted hazelnut that's cut in half. That looks really neat. And these are dark chocolate balls which I'm going to lay around the edge.
Now it's time to try my amazing chocolate tart. Mmm. So good. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make an amazing chocolate tart. The ganache inside is amazing. The crusting layer is amazing. The overall texture makes a perfect balance. And that's what I love about my chocolate tart. Please try it. I promise you, you'll love this chocolate tart. So I'll come back next time with another amazing recipe. Thank you very much. 감사합니다.